The shapes of molecules can be predicted by the valence shell electron pair repulsion theory, or VSEPR for short. In the VSEPR theory, there is repulsion between electron pairs. Thus, the best structure is the one with the largest of possible angles between electron pairs. Here, the electron pairs refer to both lone pairs and share the pairs in bonds. The electrons in a multibond are regarded as an entity. For simplicity, in this chapter, we will discuss the molecules with one central atom. For molecules with more than one central atoms, each central atom can be discussed with VSEPR theory separately. The ligands are the atoms or functional groups bonded to the central atom. To use the VSEPR theory, the molecule is represented by AXNEM. A is the symbol of the central atom. X is the symbol of the ligand. N is the number of ligands. E is the lone pair of the central atom. M is the number of lone pairs. Under VSEPR theory, the molecular shapes depend on the number of ligands and lone pairs. The strengths of repulsions between electron pairs are in such a sequence. The repulsion between two ligands is the weakest. The repulsion between two lone pairs is the strongest. The repulsion between a ligand and a lone pair is medium. When describing the shape of a molecule, we only describe the arrangement of central atom and the ligands, without mentioning the lone pairs. Here, I show you some shapes of typical molecules based on VSEPR theory. An AX2 molecule has two ligands and no lone pairs, that is, two electron pairs. The biggest angle between them is 180 degrees. So, AX2 molecule has linear shape. Typical examples of AX2 molecules are beryllium chloride and carbon dioxide. An AX3 molecule has three ligands and no lone pairs, that is, three electron pairs. The biggest possible angle between them is 120 degrees, and three ligands are in the plane. So, an AX3 molecule has trigonal planar shape. A typical example of AX3 molecules is boron trifluoride. An AX2E molecule has two ligands and one lone pair, that is, three electron pairs. The biggest angles between them are achieved when they are in a plane. So, the electron pairs have a similar shape as the AX3 molecule. However, when describing the shape of the molecule, only the central atom and the ligands are mentioned. So, AX2E molecule has a V-shape. Typical example of AX2E molecule is sulfur dioxide. For the following pages, please draw the Lewis structures by yourself and check if they are in accordance with the structures given in the lecture slides. AX4 molecules such as methane have tetrahedra shapes. AX3E molecules such as ammonia have trigonopyramidal shapes. AX2E2 molecules such as water have V-shapes. AX5 molecules such as phosphorus pentachloride have trigonal bipyramidal shapes. AX4E molecules such as sulfur tetrafluoride have seesaw shapes. AX3E2 molecules such as chlorine trifluoride have T-shapes. AX2E3 molecules such as xenon difluoride have linear shapes. Pay attention to the orientations of the lone pairs in the last three shapes. They are arranged in the way so that the lone pair lone pair angles and lone pair ligand angles are maximized. AX6 molecules such as sulfur hexafluoride have octahedral shapes. AX5E molecules such as chlorine pentafluoride have square pyramidal shapes. AX4E2 molecules such as xenon tetrafluoride have square planar shapes.